So this video we're going to convert between seconds, minutes, days, weeks, months and years and we'll go from question 5 through 10 on the worksheet. So um, let's start in question 5. How many seconds are there in one hour? Right. So you're welcome to press pause in the video and try to hold thing yourself and then just fast forward and see if you can get the same thing as me. So I'll do it now. So we start with writing down what we have. We have one hour or one HR, right? And we've got to get to what? We got to go from hours to seconds, right? Well, probably best if we think about it to go first from hours to minutes, right? And then go from minutes to seconds. So we're going to take we're going to go minutes first and then get seconds, right? We can use the um, chart here to find to find the facts we need. But but you might know that uh, there's 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute, right? So in any case, write one hour is one hour over one, and then times it by something. And the trick is, what do we do at this point? Got to make sure you have hour down here, right? Because we want the hours to cross cancel. And we want to go from hours to minutes and then from minutes to seconds. So how do hours and minutes relate? Well, there's in one hour there's 60 minutes, right? So we've, we've, we can convert it to minutes first. And you can do it one step at a time if you want. And this will cross cancel and now one hour becomes 60 minutes. But we can also just keep going without stopping at that point, right? And we want to go from minutes to seconds. So what do we do here to get from minutes to seconds? So you can write minutes down here because they'll cross cancel, right? So the hours will cross cancel. And the minutes will cross cancel. And we've got to go from minutes to seconds, right? So how do minutes and seconds relate? What's the conversion there? In one minute, there's how many seconds? 60 seconds, right? So the hours cross cancel, minutes cross cancel, we have 60 times 60 seconds, which is just 3,600, isn't it? Seconds. And I know that because 6 times 6 is 36, and there's a factor of 10 here for both of the 60s, so we can times that by a factor of 100, so 3,600. Let's move on to question 6. How many minutes are there in one month? And we're going to assume that there are 30 days in one month. Okay. So again, you can press pause and try and do it and then check the video to see if you got the same thing. Okay, so I'll do it now. So we write down what we have. We have one month. And we'll put that over one, right? And we want to convert to what? Minutes? So we want to go from months to what? Can we convert to minutes right away? What, what would be a, a lower measurement than a month? Well, we say that assume there's 30 days in one month. So we go from months to days, right? Let's do that first of all, right? And that gets us closer to minutes. So we can multiply that by something with month on the bottom. See that? And in one month there are how many days? Or assume in 30 days. Of course, if you knew the month you were oh, in question, it would be either 31 or 28, and sometimes 29, depending on the leap year, right? Anyway, well, we'll assume 30 days for an average month. And so now we've gone from months to days, 30 days in one month, months cross cancel. And you can just write that, you can do it step by step if you want, or, or we can just keep going in the same line. So to get, so what do we get next? Days can be converted to what? If you break days down, you might go to, say, hours, right? Because in one day, and we put the days down here, in one day there's how many hours? So 24 hours in a day, right? And then the days cross cancel. Right? And if you want, you can do it step by step, because you could say, hey, so one month is 30 days times 24 
and that's 720 hours. So now we've got to hours and then we keep going, right? So from hours we're going to convert to what? So we want the hours to cross cancel down here. Hours can be converted to minutes. In one hour there's how many minutes? 60, right? 60 minutes in one hour. So the hours cross cancel. And you can even do it step by step in your calculator. Got 30 times 24 times 60. And that's 43,200 minutes, right? In one month. Oh, and we're done. That's all we need to do. We just need to go to minutes. So, 43,200. And of course, if you wanted to get seconds, how many seconds in a month, you times that by 60 again, right? And that would be a little over two and a half million seconds in a month. Okay, so uh, number seven, by the way, kind of want to change that to 10 million because it gives us a nice, a nicer answer. So we're going to do, for seven, we're going to do 10 million seconds is how many months, okay? So again, press pause and do the whole thing and then check your answer if you want to. And please, again, do the unit factor method because it will be useful in chemistry, nursing, other math courses and other courses besides, other science courses as well. So it's a good method to learn. So write down 10 million seconds. 10 million is 10 zero 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 zero. Just for fun, I'm going to call that 10 to the power of what? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros and it's actually 10 to the power of 7 seconds. 10 to the power of 7 seconds over 1. Okay. So I'm going to start with 10 million seconds. 10 million seconds. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 10 to the power of 7. 10 to the power of 7 seconds, that's 10 million. And um, is how many months, okay? So what can we convert first of all? We can go from seconds to what? What would be the next measure up? Because remember, we're going, we're kind of going up now. We go from seconds to what, and then to what, and then we've got to get to months. Seconds to minutes, maybe, right? So let's convert the seconds to minutes. And then convert to something else after that, and so on, right? So, we're going to have seconds down here, minutes up here, because we want the seconds to cross cancel, and they leave ones. I'm putting little ones here, because when the same quantity cross cancels, you're left with a one. It doesn't just vanish. There's actually a one there. But anyway, So, um, in one minute, you see that? In one minute, there are 60 seconds, right? And again, just for fun, if you wanted to, you could do this step by step. 10 to the power of 7 divided by 60, right? Would give us that, which is about 167,000 um, minutes, right? Anyway, we've gone to minutes. What do we do next? From minutes, we can get to what? We can get to hours, right? Get to hours. So, because we want to end up with months eventually. So, for, so we got minutes down here. And how do minutes and hours relate? 60 minutes in one hour, right? The minutes cross cancel. And so we can get hours. Now, if you want, we can just divide that by 60 again. And now we have 2,700 about 778 uh, hours, right? Okay, so you can do it step by step if you want, but please do the unit analysis method anyway, where you multiply by these unit factors. So we've gone to hours, now what can we go to? Hours, seconds, minutes, hours, and then days, right? So we want the hours to cross cancel to give days. So there's 20. Four hours in one day, right? Hours cross cancel. So now I can take our answer if you want, divide by 24. 100, about 116 days. But we want to get to months. Okay, so from days, we can go from days to months, can't we? 
how many days in a month we decided we assume 30 right so what would the last unit factor be write down what it would be would it be 30 days in one month so the days cross cancel and then we would just divide that answer by 30 to get 3.85 almost four months and I'm going to do all of this in one go as well because we've got this whole thing gives you 10 to the power of 7 all over uh, 60 times 60 times 24 times 30 so on a calculator when you're calculating this you want to make sure that you do all of the top first and then all of the bottom so put parentheses around the top and the bottom well there's actually nothing to do in the top uh, like the kind of is you gotta put that to the power of seven um, and of course you could have written that as 10 million if you wanted to this number here right but in any case uh, in a calculator you might want to go you know parenthesis 10 to the power of 7 the little hat is the power sign divided by parenthesis 60 times 60 times 24 times 30 okay so if you plug that in a calculator press enter that will give you uh, the correct answer also so I'll just do it real quick uh, so that is 10 to the power of 7 um, divided by 60 times 60 times 24 times 30 and that gives our 3.858 or we'll just say that it's approximately um, 4 months So on to question 8. How many minutes are in 180 days? So again, press pause, do the whole thing. Please use unit analysis and um, then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I would. Ex I hope you can do this one by yourself, right? So I'm going to do it now and I'll go through it quickly. So 180 days over 1. We start there, right? We want to go from days to minutes. So let's start by going from days to say hours, right? In one day there's 24 hours and our days cross cancel, right? And again, we can multiply this step by step. So if we want to, we can go 180 times 24. And that means we've got 4,320 hours. Now we can go from hours, we want to get to minutes. so. Oh, we can do that directly, can't we? Because in one hour, there are how many minutes? So I've got all the way to minutes, the hours cross cancel, and putting that in the calculator, that's just 180 times 24 times 60, uh, 259, 200, right? So 180 days is 259,200 minutes, right? Now, question nine. Determine the number of years in 8.35 times 10 to the power of six minutes. Okay, so please press pause, do the whole thing yourself, and then check the video. Okay, I'll try it now. So we're gonna write down 8.35 times 10 to the power of six okay minutes and just for fun um, I know that 10 to the power of 6 is a, is gives us six zeros right so that's 1 million so I know that that is in fact 8,350,000 okay so 10 to the power of 6 gives you a 1 with six zeros after which is a million 8 point something like 8 times 1 million is just 8 million right so 8.35 times a million is 8 million 350,000 so this that's a just just uh, change that number around for fun 
Um, so in any case, we're starting with minutes. So 8.35 times 10 to the power of 6 minutes over 1. We want to get to years. So the first thing we can do, we're going for minutes. We want to get to years, so we'll start by going to what? We could go to, well, we want the minutes to cross cancel first of all, and we could go to hours, right? So we'll start by going from minutes to hours, right? So in one hour, there's 60 minutes, right? So we've, we're trying to get to years, and we've got to hours. Again, you can divide this step by step if you want to. And the minutes cross cancel. So what do you? What's the next thing? From hours we can get to what? We're trying to get to years, so we're going up. So from hours we can go to days, right? So hours to days. We want the hours down here, so the hours cross cancel. Twenty-four hours in one day, right? And the hours cross cancel, and now what next? From days, can we get to years? Yeah, we can say there's uh, 365 days in one year, right? Three hundred sixty-five days in one year. That'll be using our little uh, conversion factor here. Three sixty-five days in one year, right? Okay, so so I've got the years, and so now to put that in the calculator, we have um, this is what we have: eight point three five times ten to the power of six, all over uh, sixty times twenty-four times. 365. Okay, we can put parentheses around the top and bottom. Calculate the top, then calculate the bottom. So, in the calculator, we can write parentheses 8.35 times 10 to the power of 6. Close parentheses. Divided by parentheses 60 times 24 times 365 close parenthesis right and that will give us our answer so or we can do the 8,350,000 if we want as well I'll do it both ways 8,350,000 um, divided by 60 times 24 times 3, 4 times 3, 6, 5 and that gives us 15.89 so about 15.89 years or round it even further to about 16 years okay so believe it or not that amount of minutes is is almost 16 years right and now let's do question 10 0 0.0054 weeks is equivalent to how many minutes? Okay, so again, please press pause in the video, try this one yourself, get the whole thing done, and then check. Okay, I'll do it now. Hope you press pause and tried it. So 0 0.0054 weeks over 1 um, is how many minutes? So we're going to start with weeks. Where can we get to from, we're trying to get from weeks to minutes, so where can we start? WK for week. In one week there are how many watts? In one week there are seven days, right? Won't that work? Seven days? Right? Um, so the weeks cross cancel. And you can multiply this here at this point if you want to. Um, so let's see, 0 0.0054 times 7 
So we have that many days, okay? And from days we can go to what? We want to get to minutes, so the next step might be hours, right? So in one day, there's 24 hours, right? And again, you can take that step if you want to, and then just multiply by 24, and now we have this many weeks is almost one hour, 0 0.9 hours, right? The days cross cancel. Uh, so we want to get to minutes though. How can we go from hours, can we go from hours to minutes, right? And what do we do here? So can you get this? Put an hour here, minutes up here. In one hour there are 60 minutes. The hours cross cancel. And finally we just multiply by 60. We have 54. Point four three two um, minutes. Okay. Now the one thing I want to do though is I want to change that to minutes and seconds. So yes, that's fifty four point four three two minutes. But you know that is fifty four plus zero point four three two, isn't it? So it's 54 minutes and this part of a minute, the 0 0.432. Now how many seconds is that? Because I want to, for fun, I just want to write this as minutes and seconds. How many seconds is this? Right? Well think of it this way. If you had um, 1.5 minutes, what would that be in minutes and seconds? That would be one minute and how many seconds? Okay, well that's zero, this is, you know, one plus 0 0.5 of a minute, isn't it? What's 0 0.5 of a minute? What's half of a minute? Well, that's 30 seconds, 30 seconds. You know that half a minute is 30 seconds. But look at this. What if we went 60, uh, 60 seconds in a minute? So 60 times 0 0.5. Doesn't that give us 30 minutes, right? <coughs> okay, so similarly, we can take the 0 0.432 and we can multiply that by 60, right? We can call that 54 minutes and take the uh, 0 0.432 times that by 60 and we get 25.92 minutes or about 26 seconds, right? 54 minutes, 26 seconds. 